So like it was stated, uh, my name is Timothy, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to present this, uh, my research on uh, ADLs and bariatric surgery. There we go. I have no disclosures. So many patients, oh, come on. many patients in need of weight loss surgery suffer from impaired functional health and limits on their ability to carry out activities of daily living. The analysis as to whether ADL impairment represents a risk factor for these patients has yet to be explored in detail. The purpose and object of this study is to understand to what extent does impaired functional health uh, status impact patient outcomes after weight loss surgery. Using the MBSA QIP database, we queried uh, patient files from the years 2015 to 2018, and we found 575,000 adult patients who had undergone either a primary uh, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy or Roux-en-Y gastric bypass. We investigated functional health status as a risk factor for the complications following these procedures. We examined operative and preoperative factors that influence patient outcomes and use multivariate logistic regression to account for these factors. Notable exclusion criteria to our study included any revisional procedures, ASA classification of five, and patients who uh, were re not readmitted or lost to follow up within 30 days. We analyzed patient demographics, preoperative comorbid medical illnesses, operative characteristics, and postoperative complications. Laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy was the most common procedure performed across all groups. Functional status was associated with gender, procedure type, and ASA, ASA classification and race. Our data have been organized based on the patient's respective functional health status, dependent, partially dependent, and totally dependent, um, uh, respectively. Significant differences in preoperative comorbidities were associated with every calculated category except for limited ambulation, COPD, and oxygen dependence. All disease-related postoperative complications examined were statistically significant. Discharge to a location other than home was the only postoperative complication that was not significant after bivariate analysis. We independently analyzed postoperative complications based on procedure type, ruin Y gastric bypass and sleeve gastrectomy. Tested variables that did not achieve clinical significance, uh, which was determined to be about 1% increase in the population, were not included. Multivariate analysis revealed that totally dependent functional status was significantly associated with myocardial infarction, postoperative ventilator requirements, unplanned intubation, readmission, and required intervention while controlling for all other categories. The highest risks were associated with myocardial infarction, postoperative ventilation, and postoperative ventilation, with odds ratios of 4.9 and 13.7, respectively. Partial dependent functional status was associated with unplanned ICU admission, unplanned intubation, 30-day mortality, 30-day reoperation, and 30-day readmission. In conclusion, ruin y gastric bypass and sleeve gastrectomy are safe and effective operations for the treatment of obesity. Um, while safe, we concluded that these operations do carry an increased risk for patients who experience ADL impairment. The risks of myocardial infarction and, ven and postoperative ventilation are the most concerning, with odds ratios of 4.9 and 13.7, respectively. These risks should be considered when discussing weight loss surgery with at-risk patients. Thank you.